if up neek the drop to lift your eyelid actually works and if it's safe to use i'm gonna review it all coming right up keep watching Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa, board certified ophthalmologist, and on this channel we talk about eye health, eye makeup health, a little bit of eye surgery, and sometimes my life in Hawaii. So if that interests you, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you can follow along and get these videos as soon as I make them. All right, lots of questions about Upneak. If you haven't heard about it, it's an eye drop that treats blepharotosis. What's blepharotosis? Blepharotosis is just that droopy eyelid. If you ever look in the mirror and you feel like your eyes look a little bit tired or sagging, that's blepharotosis. Some people call it even low-lying lids. Now, this eye drop hit the market and so many people have been using it and I actually have a little bit of blepharotosis on my right side or ptosis. Sometimes we'll just call it ptosis with a P. So I figured this is a great one for me to try and also review whether or not it's safe to use, how it works, how long it takes, complications, the whole thing. All right, let's get to it. First, what is Upneak? It's oxymetazoline hydrochloride 0.1%. So what it is, is an eye drop that works on the alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptors in your body. I know that's a lot of speak about receptors and mechanics. There are certain receptors that are sympathomimetic. They mimic the sympathetic nervous system, the whole fight part. So you can imagine if you're like, back in prehistoric days, trying to battle, I don't know, some bear or something, you would want your eyelids to be as open as possible for you to get in as much light and for you to be able to visualize everything that's going around. So this eye drop works on what's called Mueller's muscle in the eyelid to elevate it. Now, it absolutely cannot treat every cause of droopy eyelids. There's a lot of different reasons to have a droopy eyelid. You might be like me and it's just kind of related to age. You can tell I've got just a little bit of more fullness on the right side than the, the left. But there are significant medical reasons to have a droopy eyelid as well. Tumors, specifically brain tumors can cause it. Strokes or brain aneurysm something called Horner syndrome, which gives you lid droop and a change in your pupil size. There's a neurologic condition called myasthenia gravis. You can get eye infections and even eye tumors of the eyelid that cause it to weigh down and give you that drooping. So for those reasons, you absolutely need to make sure if you have a new eyelid droop that you see your ophthalmologist to get assessed and make sure that it's not something more serious. Now, if you've seen your ophthalmologist and they say, yep, this is just age, you might be a candidate for upnee. That's good news for you. So who is it good for? It's basically good for people who want temporary relief of their lid drooping, meaning this is not going to be something that's a long-term solution. It's not the same thing as surgery to elevate the eyelids. Also, if you've ever gotten Botox before, one of the rare complications that can happen is you can get lid droop when the Botox is injected and actually goes down to the levator muscle and paralyzes it, causing some closure of the eyelid. So Upneak might help elevate the eyelid in those cases as well until the Botox wears off. Now, who is it not good for? Well, I already told you for like people with serious medical conditions, it's absolutely not going to help you. You need to get that checked out. Also not good if you are pregnant because it is a pregnancy class C medication, so it's not been tested. If you have something called narrow angles, then this medicine is probably not for you because it might throw you into an attack of narrow angle glaucoma. And that is not something we would want. That's incredibly high pressure in the eye. There's a lot of fluid buildup and you can go blind from that. So stay away if your eye doctor has told you you have narrow angles and they likely would not prescribe it for you in that case anyway. If you are on an MAOI antidepressant, it can actually counter some of the medication's effects. So you really have to give a full medical history and let your ophthalmologist know about all the medicines you're on, including some of the cardiovascular ones because there are antihypertensives that can also counteract with this eye drop. I know a lot of my patients, they just sometimes don't think about telling me the medicines they take orally because they figure I'm an eye doctor. I don't need to know. 
100% I always need to know, especially if you're interested in this eye drop, you absolutely need to tell your eye doctor. In the study, the eye drop actually didn't change anyone's blood pressure or pupil size, but it's still something to be watchful for. Interestingly, this medication, it's the same medicine that's in Afrin nasal spray. If you've ever had allergies, I've taken Afrin a lot in the past. It's just a different dosage. Afrin is 0.05%, and this is formulated differently, of course, because it's an eye drop, but this is 0.1%, so twice as strong as what's in Afrin nasal spray, but it's the same medicine. So that's just an interesting side note. So some of the complications or side effects are gonna be, if you take Afrin, the same kinds of things that's on the box for Afrin as well, blurred vision, eye redness, eye irritation, eye pain and headaches, and even some rebound redness. So what that means is when you stop using the drop, your eyes might get a little bit red. How long does it take to work? Well, it can take effect anywhere as soon as five minutes, all the way up to about two hours in the study. So I'm gonna to toss a drop in. What you should also know is if you wear contact lenses, you need to remove your contact lenses put the eye drop in and then wait at least 15 minutes before inserting your contact lens back again. You don't wanna put it in on top of a contact lens. My gosh, that actually took a lot of work to get it open. But this is how it comes. It's in these little um, single use vials. So there's enough in here for administering to both eyes in case you have lid droop of both sides. And for me, I'm just gonna do it on the right side. So you just pop the top off and you are supposed to throw this away. So even though I'm only going to be doing one side, not supposed to keep it and use it the next day on the other side. Okay, did one drop. No more. All right, so let's do a little screen grab and I'll put that in the corner so I can measure the lid height the way I normally would in the office. It's hard to measure myself with the ruler, but I can do it in um, the video here. And then let's see if it takes five minutes or two hours, I'll do a time lapse while I'm doing some other things. And then I'll come back and we'll compare it to this screen grab right there and see if there's any lid lift for me. And I'm 46 years old, so I don't have a ton of dehiscence or just, you know, atrophy or aging <laughs> changes. Basically, I hope I don't have a ton of aging changes. And hopefully I will be able to see some improvement. This is just great if you are doing family photos or, you know, I'm gonna be giving some talks a little bit later this week and I hate the way my right eyelid looks a little bit smaller in pictures more recently. So that would be great for this. Now, again, it's not a long-term solution. Only surgery is really going to be able to elevate the eyelid consistently and permanently. And it only lasts about six to eight hours in the study. So, you know, about a little less than, you know, your normal work day. So just bear that in mind if you are using it for a big event like a wedding or something like that. All right, we'll come back after it's been a little while and we'll see if it works. So. How much does it cost? Well, a 30-day supply actually costs $160. It is not covered by medical insurance. A 45-day supply costs $240, and it can only be ordered from one special pharmacy in the mainland. I'm in Hawaii. That's what I call the rest of the country. So there are no pharmacies in the state of Hawaii and in many states that would actually carry it. So it actually to be done as like a mail order. So don't get mad at your eye doctor if that's what needs to happen because that's the only pharmacy right now that carries it. So there you go my review on Upneak. Okay, so I started to feel effects probably within about 15 minutes. It's been now approximately 35 minutes and I, it feels weird. <laughs> I know that's not very medical, but it definitely, I can feel that the eyelid is lifted because especially since I only did the right side, like the left eyelid just feels heavier. I feel like there's more light let in. So this is actually, one of the reasons when I will do what's called a blood fibroplasty, and I have a video on that, that is the surgery that we do to elevate the eyelids. And especially when I do it for a functional reason, meaning not for a cosmetic reason, but because somebody is having difficulty seeing up top because their eyelids are so droopy, when you open up the eyelid, it really does let a lot more light in and I can definitely feel that. So let's take a screenshot. And you can see, I mean, that my eyelid has definitely increased. Usually with Upneak, they say about a one millimeter increase. And that's honestly what I have. I have about a probably a one to one and a half millimeter droop on the right side compared to the left. You see it most when I smile like that um, compared to when I don't smile. But 
I really can tell a difference. I feel like I got to use this every time I make a YouTube video now. But I mean, right here, so you can see the difference. You can see there's just even now more fullness on the left side because I didn't use it on this side and I only used it. You don't see as much of my eyelid there on the right side. So I definitely think it works. I had to change my shirt. I have a Zoom meeting, but I would use it for, you know, special occasions, meetings, you know, photography, that kind of thing. Seems like it's a really great uh, temporary measure and the complications seem to be pretty minimal. One thing you can also see is because I told you it is a alpha one and alpha two receptor agonist, what that also does is it constricts the blood vessels. So I also believe that my, the white of my right eye, it's much more brighter than the white of my left eye, meaning there's more redness because I've been traveling a lot, not sleeping quite as well. So I have more redness on the left side as well. So it probably is um, better if you use it bilaterally, but you could always throw a drop of Lumify in your left eye, which would then counter. All right, there you go. That's Upneak. Definitely seems to work. Very minimal side effect profile and it could be an option if you're looking for a temporary fix. If you've tried Upneak, I'd love to hear your stories and your experience with it. And until next time, let me know if you guys have any specific eye health topics you would like for me to address. I'm happy to do so. I read through every comment and try to respond as much as I can. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.